in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Are we there? It's projected. I just want us to read the A part. Are we together? Can we read? One to read. And the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. There is a relationship between understanding and the quality of your action. It says they had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do. Not just that they acted, but they knew what to do. We're here tonight gathered so that God will grant us the keys that will help us know what to do. Many people are acting, just taking actions that are not producing results. It's one thing to act, but it's another thing to know what to do. He says the children of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times. Then they knew what Israel had to do. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like your candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. It's a prayer, not a song. It's a prayer, not a song. Lord, like menorah, light me, Lord, light my life, light me, Lord, let me know what to do. Pray, pray, pray from the depth of your heart. Let your light swallow up my darkness. Light me, Lord. Bible says they that stumble stumble in the night there is there is no way you will stumble once there is light are we together now yeah the Bible says the eye is the light of the body it says and if your eye be full of light right if your eye be full of light then paraphrasing now it lightens your path but then if your eyes be darkness there are too many people stumbling stumbling i don't just want to start preaching it's important to know that our hearts are prepared to receive you see this song that we just sang right now is not it's not a special number to just make you feel emotional i tell you it's one of the greatest cry you can pray in this season the bible says the spirit of man is the candle of the lord but the holy spirit is the light upon the candle a candle is useless notice the way the candle lights it keeps burning the wax and then the light keeps coming so the treasure in that candle is hidden inside are we together now without a fire there cannot be light the greater the burning of the outer sphere of that candle the more it gives illumination so i want you to sing this song with understanding father there are i i confess ignorance in my life but light me are you ready to sing it from your heart? Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. 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 Light me, Lord.
Father, give us illumination tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Just turn to your left and right. Generously greet someone. Night me, Lord. Hallelujah. One of the blessings of walking with the Holy Spirit is the capacity to develop your discernment. Discernment is the spiritual quality of perception. It's the ability to perceive not just the origin of things, the spirit that engineers certain things, but also a perception of thoughts and a perception of intentions. With... Uh, Discernment works almost like mind reading. You are able to pick signals. Are we together now? That's why I led us to read that scripture. It says the sons of Issachar had an understanding, a perception of the times. One of the secrets, listen, one of the secrets to a life of victory is the ability to move as the spirit is moving. In the revelation of Ezekiel, and Daniel had the same revelation. It says how that the cherubs, everywhere the spirit moved, they also moved. The secret to a life of victory, the secret to a life of triumph, is to do what God is doing. Is to go where God is going. Because anywhere God is, that is where his life, his power his victory, his glory is concentrated. If God is going to the left and you are headed right, you are in trouble. If God is going right and you are headed left, you are in trouble. It's important. That's why we pray. And that's why we create an atmosphere of worship. Because among other things, we want to build discernment. The capacity to understand the speakings of the Spirit for every season. Hallelujah. And um, God has been helping us. We've been bringing teachings already that I believe are very, very applicable to our lives and in line with the word that God has given us this year. Tonight, I want to share on something powerful. This message is very personal to me, especially in this season, because I have seen the... Let me borrow from the words of God's servant, Bishop David Oyedepo. I have seen the capacity for sweatless triumph on the strength of what I'm about to share with you. But then I have seen how difficult the life of a man can be if you do not have this. Let me digress for a minute or two to reiterate something that I believe has been an anthem in this place. It's important to know what spiritual growth is because that's why we are gathered here. Spiritual growth first and foremost is the ability to conform experientially to the image of the Christ. Conformity. Conformity to the image of the Christ. The second character of spiritual growth is the ability to sustain an ability where you accurately comprehend the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom so I can know whether or not you are growing spiritually by seeing to what degree you are conforming to the image of the Christ one and then the second point is I want to see how you are living your life I want to see how you interplay spiritual laws like a chef in a kitchen with raw ingredients but can give you an assurance to be patient for two hours and within those times he or she is working out something mixing the ingredients with intelligence and knowledge and after two hours sometimes what he or she is mixing will even change color they they know what to do and then they bring out a beautiful combination and it blesses everyone you are not a blessing if you do not understand the secrets of the kingdom you cannot be a blessing 
men rise in this kingdom through secrets we rise in this kingdom through secrets our business in this kingdom is the ability to trade secrets the secrets of the kingdom no matter how you brag about being spiritual if you do not know how to handle the secrets of the kingdom to produce the results that are required you are wasting your time and you will eventually get frustrated no matter how confident you sound now and what a joy to have a ministry and a platform by his grace that can afford us the opportunity to rise to a point where we understand the secrets of the kingdom this is what we teach every time and tonight you're about to learn one i pray that you not only add it to the list of the mysteries you may have had and are not using but that you pay attention to it because it may be the one key that is required in this season to bring prophecy to manifestation hallelujah can you pray for one minute and say lord open my eyes open my eyes open my ears Tonight I'm teaching on what I titled the gift of men. The gift of men. Ephesians chapter 4. The gift of men. I want to share with you and unlock to you a mystery behind strange breakthroughs. The mystery or a mystery really not just a mystery but one of the kingdom secrets that controls what I will call a quantum leap in a man's life hallelujah I want to share with you a mystery that is responsible for the sudden explosion in the life and destinies of individuals businesses ministries and all of that please pay attention the gift of men Ephesians chapter 4 your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever sing your praise your spirit opens to me the treasures of your world. I, I will sing. Of the wonders of your world. Out for joy. I will see of the wonders of your world, and I will forever seven and eight Ephesians four seven and eight. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and did what? Gave gifts unto men. Those gifts are not talents. Those gifts are not the gifts of the spirit. Those gifts are people. When he ascended up on high, he gave men to men. There are men called gifts. Are we together? The gift here is not anointing. The gift here is not talent like word of knowledge. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. When you read all through the context of Ephesians 4, you never see the mention of anything anointing or gifts of the Spirit. Uh-uh. 
he gave gifts unto men where is your own because the bible says he gave gifts unto men and he says anyone who has that gift will come into a level a stature he calls it are we together he gave gifts unto men fast forward all the other verses he says to the end because of those gifts that we come into the fullness of the measure of the expectation the stature of Christ meaning there is a gift I must receive there is a dimension of the operation of the spirit I must receive in men to be able to rise to that level. Please pay attention. Everything on earth today happens because of one single entity called man. The wars in the world today happen because of man. The peace experienced by, nat by nations have been brokered by men. Listen to me. The poverty that we experience in Africa and other parts of the world have been caused and have been sustained by men. The wealth and abundance that have been experienced in our world today have been engineered by men. The economic system that our civilization currently runs on was designed and is sustained by men the policies that govern the progress or the slavery of individuals and territories were carefully decided upon and prepared by men the only reason why there are still human beings on earth is because there are still men the reason why there is hatred in the world is not because there are animals. It's because there are men. The only reason why every other thing works. You say I'm a real estate mogul. No. Land does not give anybody money. People love the land. So the land becomes expensive. Everything revolves around men. Please pay attention. I want to share with you a powerful mystery. Koinonia is running today not because Jesus is Lord, but because there are men. The radio station thrives because at the other end of the broadcast, there is a human ear, not an animal ear, not a monkey or a dog ear, a human ear to listen. There is an armed robber planning to rob today, and his mission looks realistic because of the existence of men how come the entire civilization of mankind run men, yet we never study them we study clothes we study oil we study every other thing but we never pay attention to men let me show you a wise man who did what we should be doing. Psalms 8. Hello, Madonna. Psalms 8. Hello, Madonna. Do you know why David was called up a man after God's heart? Listen, it was not just Solomon alone that was wise. David was very wise. He said, Oh Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Listen. Who has set thy glory above the heavens? Read on please. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast ordained strength because of thy enemies that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Three. When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon, think about it, which thou hast ordained for, what is man? That thou art mindful. You took your time to create everything for him. You created the sun, the moon, you put protection, you made sure plants produced. So God, 
there is what is man what was in your mind when you were designing this entity called man that even you God will not rest why that is all God thinks about in heaven do you know God does not think about his glory I know what he's thinking about now man think about it sister if you are aware brother has been thinking about you from morning till night I think it's a cause to smile that shows you are valuable what is man that thou art it didn't say brain full mind full your mind is full right what's that song he will not suffer my foot to be moved I carry your presence everywhere who am I your mind is so full of me so what is mine he never say who is man he's not talking about the personality of man what strategy did you design that you called man I know his personality but Lord what is the use of this? could you not replace him with something listen read the Bible God has replaced many things with many things but God has been unable to find a replacement for man to an extent that no matter how bad man was God will come and say we will fix it even the man himself after wiping them he still preserved others there must be more in this mystery called man you know what is in a bank that's why they protect it you know what is in the earth that's why we put NMPC to guard it but we do not know what is in this entity called man what is man I put it in a better way what is in man that thou art mindful of him can't you just waste them away and build another species lord are you are you so dull after you created man did you lose your sense of creativity why do you want to so fix him why can't you just replace him can't you put a mind in chairs what is man that thou art mindful of him not the son of man that as glorious as heaven is you are not comfortable so you come to visit him to an extent that you make that man your temple that man your temple your temple it's like Donald Trump coming to live somewhere at the back of this place and he says believe me you cannot get the joy and he said no 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 I mean you have everything you need Let's sing that song again. God, we are, we are, we are flying this night. He will not suffer my foot to be I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Let my be so true. Jimmy, Moses had died when Archangel Michael came to carry his body. Lucifer also came wanting the body. The guy had died, they were fighting over the body. What was in the body? Don't just say it's your spirit alone that is important. Listen to me. What is in this body? that Jesus is interested in Satan is interested why do demons look for human bodies what in a body L listen listen what what happens to them when they are in a body you must understand this I will show you a mystery that will change your life we look for oil and ignore men we protect oil wells and leave men think how foolish we are we put fence around lands but leave men and ignore them and kill them and bomb them and we want to move forward the psalmist said i have already considered the ground i consider the oil fields <clears throat> i consider the sun i consider uh -uh. i i found out your attention is on this entity so god please tell me what is man? 
that you are mindful of him if i have a safe with a million dollars and i'm hiding it if you touch any other thing i won't say anything but if you are coming here there will be shifting back that's how it is satan noticed every other thing he touched god didn't bother but the moment he started coming to man his attention batters that man and then jesus himself came and walked upon the earth they asked jesus why did you come he said to die <laughs> what kind of assignment is that went to the cross and the people he was dying for were not even repentant yet he was not angry there is more to me and you i will show you something today that will make you never hate any human being i will show you something today that will make you see that your prosperity is in the hands of man what is man the most abundant secret to our blessing moves around us every day yet we we can trade it a thousand times to look for oil we can trade it a thousand times to look for whatever it is we protect things more than men we would rather kill men than kill things if 100,000 people die listen and nigeria's oil field is protected we think we're still all right listen i want you to think about this for a moment just imagine that everyone at the same time in the world falls into a state of coma except you listen do we have intelligent minds in this place imagine that not death everybody simultaneously 7.2 billion people enter a state of coma right now except you let me tell you what will happen to you i know you will first run to the bank you will find it open by the way you will enter the safe and run to a mall no security no nothing no plane no more terrorists no fear where are the demons they are no longer interested you search for them every dark corner does not make you afraid again so why did it make me afraid man man the only reason why demons have something to do is because man is still alive so brothers and sisters i want to ask you again what is in man don't you think this calls for study this thing changed my life i'm playing with your expectation before i begin to teach you what is man when i consider the work of your hands when you see a man designing something you want to know what he wants to put there when i see you building a house i want to know the kind of thing you want to put there then you finish building a beautiful house lavish money and carry a little gold or a little baby or a dog and put in the house i know that that is a dog plus something maybe that dog you are hiding cocaine in that dog i will tear that dog and find out why are we together now Jesus shed his blood many times men will cry even for themselves to die listen listen have you tried to fix things fix things and it didn't work what do you do you try to fix a gas cooker again and again it doesn't work God doesn't throw it away now it's a mystery I wish I had time I would have shown you something a prophet saw that just like a shepherd comes to rescue a lamb he gave us an analogy in the book of Hosea. I think it was Amos. Amos now. Right? That a, a lion ate a lamb, ate everything. He only left two legs and one ear. Two legs and one ear. Yet the shepherd fought the lion and recovered the two ear, the two legs and one ear. When I read that scripture, I said, ah, if you come and you see a lion devouring your sheep, and intestines have been eaten only one ear and two legs is it worth fighting for and yet the shepherd fought i preached a message years ago with that because for as long as you can have ears to hear the creative word of the lord and two legs to take a step of faith you can get everything back again it's the mystery of restoration the most important part of that sheep the lion did eat it what a foolish lion it ate every other part 
and left what can bring it back. The lion would have eaten the ears and the legs and gone away and you would have finished that animal. Because if you still can hear and you can take steps of faith, then all hope is not lost. Let's go to our discussion tonight. Please sit down. Everything on earth, I said, happens because of man. The demonic oppression happens because of man. There are more angelic activities on earth right now than human activities. All because of man. If God were to open your eyes in the realm of the spirit, you will see myriads of angels dispatched and sent because of man. Every business succeeds because there is a man to provide that value and there is a man to patronize it. Is that true? Those of you who do businesses on campus, you know that holidays are very bad times for you. You don't like it. Why? Not because the building moves. Are we together now? To an extent, Ejimi, that you can ship a consultant from India, bundle him like a package, and bring him to a hospital just to perform an eight-hour surgery and go back and pay him millions, yet you think he is worth it. Hallelujah. What is man that thou art mindful of him? I have spent my life studying and learning the mysteries of the kingdom that control the results that we desire. I still am at it and I do it passionately. I'm like a spiritual archaeologist, if you would um, permit me to use that word because I strongly believe the, the secret of the future is in the past. There is something we have long forgotten about that holds the key to a glorious future. And so I study a lot. And when the Lord began to teach me the mystery of men, um, I just felt it was very important to teach us. Now, when you consider the personalities of men, listen, you are talking about the psychological implication of men. You can have people who we consider to be extroverts, people who we consider to be introverts and etc that's not what i'm talking about today i'm not talking about the physiology of men i'm not talking about the psychology of men i'm talking about the spirituality the very spirituality the spiritual significance of having a gift called a man in your life notice every time there is the coming of a man into another person's life the bible calls it an advantage when he created all things when he made the woman remember he said it is not good so another body comes into another life and the bible says that person's life should not be the same I, i'm just using marriage as an analogy he said he that finds a wife he never said he that finds oil he never said he that goes to school has done a good thing he never said he that, he that if you can find another human being then he said there is a friend another human being that sticks close ah, ah. he gave gifts to men the bible was speaking about the patriarch abraham and he said abraham set out on his journey as instructed by god and then lot went with him he never said lord helped him lord just followed another man and lord's life started changing are you hearing what i'm saying now let me show you the implication of men the bible records that there was a man called laban laban and then jacob came to the house of laban and over a span of about 10 years laban's and Higher life changed. Is that true? The Bible speaks about a prophet called Jonah on his way to run away from God's instruction, entered a boat where there were other men, and certain strange things started happening. Every time someone died, they started calling for the appearance of a man, and a man appeared. 
and then something happened have you noticed every time men entered an atmosphere they, they made certain things to happen men men when Gehazi was troubled he went to meet a man are men really important when they were hungry 5,000 people they found a loaf five loaf two fish from a man and took it to meet a man even when the donkey spoke he spoke to a man please I want you to pay attention because what I'm saying will bless your life forever that means if I ignore men I am ignoring something more than a personality I am driving out a realm of reality and possibility from my life listen listen if I ignore men in fact in ancient times when kings had men they were called wealthy not just because they had an arsenal of people to fight because sometimes the people were not skilled but in the multitude of men is a king's honor the multitude of men is a king's honor every religion fights for men kings of the earth fight for men the only reason why they fight for territory is so that it can accommodate more men are we together when a man meets with his wife they give birth to another man why is God interested in another man when Satan tries to afflict a woman with barrenness what is he trying to stop what is he trying to stop he's not trying to stop joy no he's not trying to stop peace there are people who are happy without children why will Satan take the issue of men personal when Moses was giving birth to mm, listen Moses was giving birth to a decree listen they said they should kill all not animals men in this case the masculine uh, gender but then men when Jesus was born the same thing happened again kill men what is in man oh God that you are mindful of what am I missing the last person I drove away from my life, what did I drive away? I'm about to show you. Why is it that the Bible even says a born again spirit filled man for treating another man in his life called his wife, the heavens will close over him and his prayer will not be answered. I didn't steal, I didn't kill, I only did something to another man that was not good. Yet heaven responds to it. This entity called man, brothers and sisters, has more than just a personality. If all you look at is just two eyes, two legs, and a personality, you will cheat yourself. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you certain things about men. Number one, men in themselves are not perfect. Ignore this, because what I'm about to show you will be stopped when you are when you don't take away the you know the, the the effect of some of these things i'm sharing men are not perfect in themselves you may meet foolish men in your life you may meet all wise men in your life however it still is not in enough reason to just throw them away they may be holding certain things that i'll be revealing to you shortly are we together for some reason, God hid his possibilities in men. He didn't hide it just in buildings. He didn't just hide it in territories. But the consecration of the possibilities of men, he hid it. The possibilities of God, he hid it in men. He made man the highest of his creation. Men are not perfect in themselves. Number two, the attitude and the behavior of men, good or bad, good or bad, 
listen to me does not stop your receiving what they carry the attitude of men good or bad does not stop your receiving what they carry Elijah was an angry man yet he was used to change the life and the stories of people you have to listen to this let me say the third thing that I want to say about men are you ready for this There are certain possibilities in men, listen to me, that predates even their salvation experience. Please listen. Predates their salvation experience that can still be received, whether they are born again or not. You have to understand what I'm telling you. Now, am I just, am I saying people should remain unbelievers? No. But I am saying there are certain things that God has put in men that can be received whether or not those people are born again or not if an old woman curses you whether as a witch or as a human being the fact that she has lived long enough certain possibilities have been opened to her to be able to speak over your life are you getting what i'm saying now yeah all through scripture every time children cried god heard children every time read your bible every time children cried there was a response from the earth to heaven that's why i say out of the mouths of babes and sucklings thou had ordained are we together your destiny and my destiny are men dependent write this down this is a very serious point the your destiny and my destiny the fulfillment of it is highly men dependent my prosperity is men dependent the quality of the work god has given me the quality of your church your ministry your life is man dependent the quality of your life on earth as a believer and as an inhabitant of the earth is man dependent your success and my success in life are highly or is highly man dependent Evil on earth is man dependent. The advancement of the kingdom on earth is man dependent. The fulfillment of prophecy on earth is man dependent. God can speak. The Bible never told us in the prophecy. It said a virgin shall conceive. A woman aligned herself with that prophecy. Otherwise, Jesus would never have been born. He never said Mary. No. A woman chose to play that script. It just so happened that the name of that woman is Mary. It was said he would be buried in a virgin tomb. He didn't tell us the owner. That was somebody's business. That was his property. It so happened that the man... Who fulfilled that prophecy was Joseph of Arimathea. He said how that he would be betrayed. But he never said by a man called Judas. The prophetic word of God, listen, has been hanging over the heads of many people. Because the men to make it happen are not available. Or they have come and we have driven them away. Please pay attention. Occultism thrives through the availability of men. When the devil wants to destroy a family, there usually will be an envoy, an individual, an entity, whatever it is. Men are more powerful than mediums. You can keep a charm 
in a house but the most powerful charm is an aligned human being who has agreed and said satan i donate myself to scatter the life of these families are we together My assignment is tonight is to help us to open our eyes to the mystery of these gifts that God has given us that we throw away from our lives around called men. And watch the unlimited possibilities. I call it a quantum leap. That your life, there is a, a quantum leap is a jump. Not just a movement. You move from one phase of possibility to the other because of the presence of a man. Hallelujah. There are four implications of the presence of men in your life. And I want you to note this. Number one, the first implication of a man coming into your life, especially sent by God, is the coming of wisdom ideas and strategies the only entity that is able to convey wisdom ideas and strategies is man every time a man shows up in your life wisdom ideas strategies wisdom so when i drive a man away I did not just drive a personality. That's why I said, "Doth not wisdom cry. It personifies wisdom. Because wisdom moves in and through men. Are we together now? The conveyors of strategies and ideas and wisdom are men. Every time you are ready to move in a, to another dimension, God sends a man. And if you have the discernment, that man can represent the strategy for the next level. That man can represent the wisdom for the next level. That man can introduce the idea for the next level. Many pastors, many businesses, many individuals are grounded because they think men are just black entities in clothes. No. Every time you see a man coming to you in your state of misery, begin to rejoice and begin to discern what is this man what is coming to me it's not just a human being with a mouth to speak are we together when you order a product from conga or jumia they have their pack is that true no matter where you buy it they rewrap it with their own pack and every time you see it sometimes it could be a surprise when you see it you start laughing because you wonder what is inside whether it is big or small, you want to see what is inside. The next time you see a human being come to you, especially sent by God, in a prophetic season, you must begin to rejoice. Because that person, ignore the personality. This is what I'm teaching you. When you look at the personalities of men, you will drive all your miracles out of your life. There are times you have to ignore those personalities and discern. I've been fasting three days. Lord, what is the key to the next level? Then a man comes. Men are the vehicles that God uses to transport wisdom and strategies. Wisdom and strategies. Implication number one. Pay attention to what I'm teaching you. Wisdom, strategies. Let me tell you, I think shortly before Koinonia would start, when we were still meeting that time at the back of chapel in the abu campus here one night the lord led me to do something i just told everyone we're not so many maybe three four hundred or so then and i told everyone please can you write don't write your name just write out whatever suggestion that you think can make this ministry rise to the next level that's your assignment just write it and drop it in the basket Brothers and sisters, my life changed. Koinonia entered another, a quantum leap. When I began to read some of the things that were written, I was shocked. Men bringing with them 
strategies do you know the answer to your prayer is not far from you you just don't have the eyes to see let me tell you god is not wicked i have learned by experience that every answer is closer than you think it is shrouded in a man the secret to your financial hardship somebody is walking with the answer and he will walk and pass you walk and pass you walk and pass you even be encouraging you while you are crying but because you have not discerned that men are the conveyors of strategies men are the conveyors of ideas men are the conveyors of wisdom I've had people help me solve problems in life and I've been surprised not at the solution they brought but that they are the ones who brought it and I started saying, I mean, so why did I start going around? I mean, you were here all the while. Has that happened to you? After going around looking for answers, talking everything, it is your roommate while you are discussing in the night. You say, have you tried A, B, C? And that's the end of it. Men convey us. Solutions disguised in human beings that we push away and never rise to the top. Every time you pray and you see men coming into your life, pay attention. There may be men who have annoyed you every day of your life, but on that day, they are sent. On that day, they are sent. Who gave Naaman the secret of his health? I know we clap for Elisha, but it was not Elisha. The Bible says there was a little slave girl, correct? A slave girl meant that she did not even have the regiments, the education, and the training. Yet, listen, it was her that told Naaman, he said, I, I, I know I'm a slave, but there is a man of God. There is a man of God I want you to meet. When he met the man and, you know, doing his big manism, she, she's the one who came and advised him and said, see, he didn't ask you to go and bath in another dirty water somewhere. And Naaman washed seven times. And the Bible says his skin. Could it be that since 2013 you would have risen? But God kept answering your prayer and you kept rejecting the answer. God, give me strategies. And all of a sudden, he said, please get out this while we are talking serious things here. Said, I had a little dream. I saw you. I just wanted to share. Shut up. Don't tell me anything. I'm not stupid. I'm, a, I'm spiritual. A small girl like you. And you threw away your answer. The person only humans can dream. Dogs don't dream. Forget all that junk you hear from sciences. Only humans have the faculty and the capacity to dream. A dream is a mystery. It's one of the access points where we receive revelation from the realm of the spirit. Only men can dream. Only God knows how many times you have dreamt the answer to someone's prayer. Yet the person drove you away. I'm not talking of false prophecies and, and nonsense where you keep harassing everybody. You keep seeing things about everybody's life, not your own life. I'm talking of quality, God-inspired solution that has a track record of results that we all appreciate. Are we together? Men, number two. What is the implication of a man in your life? endorsements and opportunities men are the conveyors of endorsements and opportunities listen if no man can endorse you in this life you will never rise Paul the apostle a man approved endorsed when they produce a drug they say this drug has been endorsed by the Nigerian dental society brush with it and your life will never be the same or whatever it is that that is the advert are we together now the endorsement whenever you are in doubt when you see that endorsement listen we trivialize endorsement companies have entered million dollar status overnight because of endorsement people have gotten admission with whatever it is because of endorsement i was talking with one of our people here who had been trusting god i think for a change of faculty or something and um 
you know, the guy was discouraged. And then I told him, I said he should meet our daddy, prof, you know, just to help him out. And he said, he, I saw him, I think it was just last week or so. And he was telling me, he said, everything is settled though. He said in his presence, they were driving everybody out. But immediately he entered and they saw the signature. They said, come in. Is it prof? Come in. It's called what? Many carnal people think it's not spiritual. You need endorsement. It was John the Baptist. Listen, this is a secret many rising ministers don't know. Somebody who earns the loyalty of the people must speak for you. Otherwise, the gate will not open. The gate will not open. Show me the man speaking for you. Show me who has authorized. Listen, when a man endorses you, he takes his sacrifice and puts it for you to cross with. Many believers lack endorsement. Many businesses lack endorsement. Many individuals lack endorsement. There are many people who would have gotten jobs if only someone can say this and that and that. By the privilege of God's grace that he has granted me, I have endorsed people with just a statement. A one-minute phone call turned them to millionaires. One-minute phone call. Oh, I know this person. I can vouch for him. Help him. Benny Hinn was at almost at a state of financial bankruptcy one time. They were going to cancel the crusades because he did not have enough money. He needed $10 million in three days. $10 million in three days. An anointed man like Benny Hinn, please pay attention. Benny Hinn was, you know, making a program challenging the partners to come and you know, when the accounts department, their back office were looking, nobody was really contributing. And the Holy Spirit told him to go and bring Ora Robert. He carried Ora Robert and brought him. The old man came and sat on air. And they had only three minutes. Can you imagine? Three minutes to the end of the program. Do you know what Ora Robert said? He said, Benny is in need. Please help him. In less than 24 hours, they raised about $15 million. Everybody say endorsement don't joke with what i'm telling you i'm teaching you a powerful mystery that you will need promotion many tongue talkers sit down everywhere because they do not do you know why i'm teaching you this i'm going to tell you the responsibility so that when you see a man that can endorse you no sacrifice to maintain the relationship becomes too much because you understand the implication of that person's reputation to your destiny all this unnecessary anger with everybody because you think you are the god of yourself you will stay poor and broke and you will lose in life endorsement 90 percent of the ministrations that i have gone to by the grace of god have happened through endorsements one pastor endorsing this someone saying i came for koinonia listen to this message while they are saying that i'm probably sleeping or gisting with somebody I pray for someone tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice, the voice. No, any, listen, not every voice can lift you. Not every voice can lift you. The voice that has been accredited is the voice that can lift you. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. May that voice speak over your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Men imply the presence of endorsements and opportunities. Pastor Alpha called me. I think, when was it that? Yesterday. I was in Abuja and he called me. And he said, Apostle, do you know anybody who read civil engineering? There is a job right now as we are talking for the person. No interview, no nothing. And all he wanted was who is, who is there? I mean, so that we can give him. The, I said, Kai, I don't know anybody in my mind. Let's come for Koinonia. After, maybe the person is here now. As you are hearing, you are saying, praise the Lord. And I help you answer hallelujah because that's it. It's done. Someone's life changed overnight. How many people after service, they were just going out to trek just like that. And somebody gave them a lift. And while discussing, they said, ah, what do you do, young man? He said, sir. No, I'm just moving around. How can you be moving around? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. 
come to my office take this card and they thought maybe the office looks like just a small fish pond and another building and they enter the office and they say sorry this person and he, he keep getting access until he gets to the man and he says well i'm the managing director of abc i'm the nigerian representative of this let your life change can men change people's lives <laughs> You are, you are a big joke. Look, let me tell you, some things are not demonic oppression. Some things are childishness, which have been caused by lack of orientation. Sometimes we need sufficient adults to tell us how some things work. You know, all this childishness people carry around. I don't need anybody. You need, oh, you better change that talk quick. I don't need any man. Are you joking? Man, what is man that thou art mindful of? Man is a conveyor of endorsement and opportunity. Are we together? That's why we work at making every service a great experience for everyone. Because everyone's experience is automatically an endorsement of what we represent. I have gotten things without paying for them because of endorsements. Brothers and sisters, I'm showing you a simple secret that will change your life forever. The Bible says they know not, neither will they understand. They grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course. People have received partnership in their ministry overnight because of an endorsement. I've had the privilege, I remember one time a particular pastor somewhere, you know, I, I don't raise money, raise funds and all of that, but I went to the church and I, you know, I saw the project they were doing and when I, you know, said everything, I said, by the grace of God, um, I want everybody to sow a seed for this project. Just jokingly, do you know the pastor would call me like two, three weeks later. He said, in all they have met, they have prayed and they have fasted. Him, he was saying, Apostle, you are really anointed. I said, no, 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 no. no. In my mind, it's not just the anointing. It's a track record. Listen, listen. Don't wait till you create the same track record. You, you, will, you will, time, time cannot wait for you. Leverage on someone else's sacrifice. The condition that was available to create that track record by another may not be available for you. Are you sharing what I'm saying? I know lecturers, and I say it with all humility, and it doesn't mean you should meet me after the service, but I know lecturers that I have called and said, Sir, please, so, so, so has met me that there is a problem in your department and this thing is going to affect him. Ah, my apostle, how are you? You are even calling me. And I say, sir, please, I'm not saying you should uh, do anything, but please, sir, can you look into this issue? And the person will just come out and say, I passed, I graduated. It's only me that knows what happened between me and the other person. May someone discuss your rising, even when you are sleeping, that when you are while you are sleeping someone is saying look do you know sam i know how he will rise come on now listen those who understand this never get stranded no sir no sir no sir there has to be somebody to speak the voice that speaks for you is the ladder that you will use to climb in the destiny of life you don't pay attention to what I'm telling you to be at your peril because someone is receiving already the answer. This is how God will bless men in this season. That's why I tell you, when God says it's a year of triumph, believe him. It doesn't take time. It just takes the right voice speaking for you. Hallelujah. I have entered offices today. I have no business entering it because of the endorsement. Endorsement. Who has endorsed you? Man of God, I know you are anointed, but you are sweating all around with posters, flying everywhere and saying, please invite me, give me 30 minutes out. No, no, no. You don't have to do those gimmicks. Who around has had the credibility and is willing to endorse you? Hallelujah. I will never forget one, one of our ladies when she was preparing to get married. When she went to meet her mother, her mother said, I don't have anything to tell you. I don't even know this guy. Just go and meet Apostle. Whatever Apostle says, 
Think of it, leaving somebody's destiny in my hands. I called the mother, I said, Mommy, this guy is a very nice guy. He said, Apostle, you are saying that? I said, Yes. From that day, there was no ch challenge again. Lord, raise somebody to speak for me, or raise someone to endorse me, raise someone to endorse my business, raise some raise someone to endorse my life my destiny there has to be somebody to speak for you listen let me show you that jesus immediately they get back to jesus where did they take him to the temple there were two men that endorsed him are we together immediately they took him one prophetess called anna had been there praying and fasting she lifted him and began to speak and then Simeon the prophet began to speak when John was among different people when John saw him John said behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world in the presence of everybody somebody must speak to you in the presence of everybody don't be angry that men are doubting you you have not done anything to bless them why should they not doubt you listen listen let me tell you do you know I say this with all humility there have been people who by the grace of God they started out in ministry and the church was not growing the ministry was grounded and all they needed sometimes they just call and say man of God please so many people listen to your messages in this region you are not here you don't have a branch me I'm here you know I love God and these people never come to my church and then they make arrangements and the day I'm going for those meetings, some of those churches don't even have plenty of people, but they have multiple overflows those times. Why? Because somebody that the people believe in has appeared. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? And then the moment I speak, I now say, oh, this is my a, a pastor friend, a great man, a man of integrity. I love him with all my heart. And immediately, it looks like a one second or five seconds talk. But the members just say, I found my pastor. Since I can't come to Zaria, I found the person that can represent him. That's why sometimes people foolishly carry my picture for meetings that I'm not coming. They don't care whether I say yes or no. They just start producing the posters in advance first because they think it's endorsement sometimes it doesn't work but when you have a man truly who can speak for you brothers and sisters i don't see the witch or the wizard that will tie you ladies have married cheaply because someone recommended them brother i've been praying honestly there's this lady i've been looking ah no 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 this lady is a blessing i tell you if it's this lady you are sure of joy and peace in your life whether in plenty or in luck and the brother says I've, I've, my prayer has been answered a few months later they are married but do you know the same way people's destinies have been cut short somebody was about to rise but a bad talk from someone brought him down they were about to give him a job he said don't give this guy a job he walked with me he's toast cement he, maybe the guy has repented oh do you know paul had to do this for onesimus it's in your bible accept him i know he was once so 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 and so but now just accept him there are people here all those who know you knew your yesterday you have repented today you need a fresh voice that will tell people this is not Saul this is now Paul because the, the, the predicament of being Saul is destroying your breakthrough who today must speak and say no 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 this guy was an armed robber but January, he repented. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of us, our past will never let us go. They know that you used to be around following every man. Yes, that was your past. But now you are born again. And Jesus is Lord of your life. Yet all the people in your life are people who knew you in 1997. So the moment they see a responsible, godly man coming, they call and say, Kai, um, do you know David Dam? I wouldn't have told you it's just because you are my brother this is not a good choice i command every voice that speaks when you are about to rise the moment there is consultation among your destiny helpers to to lift you there are voices there are pastors today that should not be begging for bread 
partners wanted to sow into their lives, but somebody said, I saw his poster with A and B's poster, and immediately over 70 ministrations cancelled just because somebody recommended you badly. I pray any voice in the name of Jesus that has been speaking evil against your destiny, I silence that voice right now. Shout amen. I silence that voice right now. I silence that voice right now. Please sit down. Sit down. Hallelujah. Cheap victory because a man showed up. Quantum leap because an endorser showed up. There are pastors who their destinies have changed overnight. A man of God they invited somewhere could not make it and he would just say, please, can you go and stand for me? That was a meeting that their level of grace and experience should not take them there. And they stood there and they did well that day. After the meeting, there are seven or eight pastors and they say, sir, please, can you come to a, for a meeting? Can you come for a meeting? Etc. Etc. There is no meeting, brothers and sisters, that I will go for that afterwards, somebody from that meeting will carry the wondrous works of God to another region. This is how we have grown as a ministry. This is how we have grown even financially. The blessing that has come from people. Are we together now? I remember someone one time sewing into the ministry and he said that him... I think he's a critical person. He hates men of God. Many men of God are fake. They are not serious. But when he listened to my message and his mentor, he, he had his mentor, whoever that person was, listening to my message, he just said, no, we'll be sowing into this ministry. Every month, I tell you, every month, he sows a seed to Koinonia and a seed to my life. Do I know him? I have only communicated with him on text, but endorsement. Don't trivialize what I'm saying. Endorsement. Someone you are selling products and you are doing retail, whereas a hotel somewhere or whatever needs your product in wholesale, but they don't trust you, and you will not be given the opportunity to prove your trust, you will only be given the opportunity to be trusted based on somebody who already knows you, who they believe, and someone who says some and say, Ah, listen, if he's a mecca, eh, I can tell you he will deliver your chickens every time. If it does not deliver, it, just take it at my risk. And all of a sudden, they will just sign it. And instead of selling one one chicken, somebody will come and say it's two five. You say we'll give you seven hundred. And all those arguments for hours just to buy one chicken. You will start doing wholesale delivery. Your life has changed. Blessings. Music artists. How many music artists have been suffering as if God didn't call them? beautiful voice but no voice to speak for you beautiful voice but no voice to speak they only invite you if everybody they invited is busy then they'll say sorry honestly this program is in three hours I, are you free just come and cover our ship you need a voice say i need a voice, I need a voice. say I need a, I need a man yeah you need the coming of someone in your life to speak for you what opportunities have you been given were you giving it or you looked for it by yourself? Are you seeing the secret to hardship? Where you have to look for everything by yourself. Who has called you to say there is a big opportunity? I cannot handle it. But here you go. Like whoever is going to get this job now. There are times they've invited me for almost every invitation that we honor there are a few others we have to turn down and there are times in my spirit i have felt led to lift certain people and i call those people i say i'm sorry i can't come their heart is paining them and i say no 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 no. but this person cannot call but i know someone i can recommend for you do you believe me ah apostle we believe you we have been praying okay invite us so and so he will bless you case close i don't want my life to be hard though the bible said the way of the fool is hard wisdom that voice that must speak in my life this has been my prayer i'm sharing with you my secret prayer lord who is the person everybody is buying land they say there is no land it's a lie 
It's just that all the important people have bought it. The day you come, they will say, please. So, so said they should give him land. I've shared a testimony here that I heard years ago. Um, and I'll reiterate it very quickly. Someone who wanted to, um, I think, get admission in NDA. And then the, the required height level. The person did not have that required height level. And, you know, military people, they are very serious. Well, that's it. He returned back to Zaria and then met the Emir. And the Emir sent that they should go and tell the commandant. They should go and tell the man that the Emir has added the height of the person. Hmm. Who is adding your height in this wicked world? Listen, this our world is fierce and wicked. Who is adding your height? When people stand and conspire, we must destroy Benga. We must make sure he does not rise. Who is the voice authorized to stand and say, no, not this? I will show you why doors don't open. Because the truth is, I want to admit this with all humility. Many of us are already prepared for the next level. But we don't know the endorsement is the key that we need. The truth is, if it's music artist, God has honored this ministry with great people. If it's intellectuals, there are some of you seated right now. One endorsement. I remember a gentleman who came here um, some time ago, a medical doctor. And he discovered um, something. He, was, he got the patent for um, reproduction of something to reproduce a particular device that can check, I think it can check, your heartbeat and whatever without taking blood from your body very smart guy he came here and i told him i said please go and meet our daddy so that they will connect him with professor knock and like that and i think so on and so on like that like that we've not seen the guy again i want to believe that god has lifted him and i pray that it is so i made up my mind that every voice that must speak into my life whatever price it will take i will pay to secure the endorsement of that voice it's not human worship hallelujah or a robot help benny he's in trouble and all of a sudden somebody's prayer point becomes a gift hallelujah there are men of god who just do you know there are certain stages, even ministerially speaking sincerely, if God grants you the privilege and the access to stand on that stage, as far as ministry is concerned, God has helped you. There are certain individuals, if God has given you the privilege to see, God has changed your life. Endorsements, opportunities. Number three, what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives? Number three, what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives? Access to financial and material resources. Write it down. Access to financial and material resources. Part of the fringe benefits of the coming of a man into your life. Access to financial and material resources listen listen every one naira every material resource you pray for is currently in the hands of a human being right now praise the lord every land koinonia will ever buy in any nation of the world is currently in the possession of somebody now every transfer that you have been fasting for into your account there is an entity holding it now like this the money for your house is in somebody's account so when you start building a house it will not fall from heaven transfer will be made transfer will be made transfer will be made human beings there are human beings that are generous enough to change your life listen koinonia hear me it is a false understanding to believe everybody is greedy there are absolutely benevolent human beings your own price is to win their heart you can go to bed hallelujah and lot went with him 
he didn't say and lord believed what he believed lord just walked with him hallelujah do you know that someone was sharing a testimony somewhere uh, I think it was a lady or so that was sharing a testimony somebody she knows they were walking along a path a road and then the person was quite a senior man and then he met a very big man and he was greeting the man and whilst he greeted the man he gave the man you know the person she was walking with now that stranger rich stranger gave some money and looked at her and said ah young lady he decided to give her something too just like he was not even counting she said when she counted it she found that it was 50,000 just because she was working with who think of think of your prayer point disappearing simply because you are working with the wrong person it's the same way you can be working with somebody and you check and find out ah, I left my house with 500,000 now I have 12,000 what happened the presence of someone took something away from you access to financial resources your money is in the hands of men please believe me your money is not just in the hands of business you can sell anything you want to sell it's a human being that will have to buy it for you to be paid men can bless you for no reason you must believe this dimension exists that a man can just bless you i've had the privilege of blessing people in a lavish and a generous way for no reason i don't even know some of them hallelujah let me share a testimony that will bless you i share these testimonies to encourage our faith i came back from abuja this just this evening just coming here now and um yesterday in the night i decided to take a cab just to go and get something to eat before returning to sleep and while i got there my my elder sister came to give me a surprise visit and we chatted for a while and then you know saw her off uh, on my way returning, I asked the man, I said, how much is your bill? Probably because the man saw me buying things for my sister and the rest. Ah, the guy said, oh, guy, anything you give me? I said, no, no, please don't tell me all those things. Just, you, you are working. You are working with intelligence. What exactly, how much is your money? And then he mentioned, okay, X amount. He said, oh, guy, you know, I told you I have three children. Because I asked him, I said, oh, you have children. How many children? He said, three. I said, you're a hardworking man. You know, we're talking on the way coming. I said, I like you. You're a diligent man, striving to make sure you provide for your family. And then when he asked me how much, I said, no, but you know that's not the price. So how much is the last price? Then he now told me the truth. He reduced it by some amount. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said, I should take whatever was in my pocket, everything, everything that was in my pocket. I don't know how much, but it was, it was nothing less than 25000 He said, take everything and give the man. As soon as I draw from the car, I said, Mr. Man, you do not know me, but go and tell your lovely children that you met a man who decided to bless them. Make sure you take care. I removed everything. I dropped it. The man was afraid. Ah, this is, I hope this is not blood money, and etc., etc., etc. I just dropped it and said, okay, this is where I'm highlighting. God bless you. Until I entered, the man was shocked. That's the kind of experience that is, I didn't know. You will answer me this way. There are such occurrences on earth. I'm giving you an example. That's somebody's prayer. Now, it may look like it's 20 or 25,000 or whatever. I know it looks small to some of you. But that's the same way it can be 200 and something million. The same way it is that trivial. The same way it was. There are obedient people. Let me tell you. There are people who pack out of their house and give you if God said it. But if they have not had God, you can be dying. They will look at you like this. There are people who the voice of God is their trigger. But to get that voice of God, you have to invoke this and say, Oh God, let, let, send this man. This man has what it takes to wipe my tears. Financial and material privileges accessed sim not through intelligence and business acumen, through the understanding that men can do this. I started doing something some time ago. I don't do it again. When I go to get fuel, whoever is before me, no matter how much he wants to fill his tank, I pay for it. 
I just said I'll do it as a seed. If I go to get fuel and you happen to be before me, whether it's a bucket you are carrying, as long as it's within my capacity, I will sow into. And I've done that and I watch the joy that it, it, it produces in the life of people. Watch this. One time, I, re I remember, I think it was one of these, was it Salah or something like that? A, a, a man came and I saw him bring out 200 naira. Ha! The wife was at the back of the bike. Just he even just put one leg down and opened that this thing. Just it's as if you just press the thing and take it back. How much with 200 naira fuel? And I looked at him. I said, Please fill the tank for him. The man just turned. I was greeting him as a fill the tank. When he finished, I just waved. I said, Madam, bye bye. You know, this and that and that. And the man just looked at me. Do you know why I'm doing this? One, because I love God. Two, I am activating the same thing because that's what I want in my own life. I want a situation where one day somebody says, Joshua Selman, I hear you need a house. This I hear you need five acres of land for koinonia. Take. I hear you need joy and peace. I believe it. Oh, if you like, don't believe it. I believe it with all my heart. It's not laziness. It's a provision that is in the kingdom. How many people have gotten free house? They are not in ministry. One day, somebody just said, come and escort me. And they are sharing houses and you just got your own. And left quietly and ran out of the town. Just quietly got a lawyer and said, sign this. It's called prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. That's what God is getting ready to bring for us in this season. Prepared blessings. Where you will wake up in the morning with a text. And you check the text. And all of a sudden, a man sends you a text. Wanting nothing in return. I'm not talking of bribe. Look at this. Many of our parents, some of you know that I'm telling the truth. They are brilliant. According to their level of sacrifice, they should be working at the, the highest echelon of the government. But today, nobody can speak for them. There are many people who should be legislators doing very well nobody is speaking for them there are buildings houses that should be completed but there is no help because you start on your own you are receiving 20,000 naira every month but you know one day you can just be passing and somebody will just look and say once in a while we just want to bless people and it just happens to be you dr mike mudok shared it a story one time how that i think it was his dad of blessed memory or mom they performed a surgery and it was about $25,000. The people had exhausted all their monies and, you know, the hospital just called them and said, once in a while, we like to do good things to people, just like charity, and it happens to be you. I was told about a woman of God in Abuja today that went to a particular place and saw, um, it's like their chapel devastated. She brought out $8 million cash and said they should rebuild a house for God from scratch up. I know a man of God in this country. Well, not a man of God, but a rich man. The pastor had been shouting, we need a tent. All of you so we need a tent. We need a tent. Let's beautify the house of God. The rich man just kept quiet as if he doesn't know what they're saying. One day, the guy got up and bought a tent, 25 million cash. They brought it. I'm mentioning these big amounts for a reason. I want to stretch your mind because some of you will never believe it. If you like, see, I'm talking about money, no problem. I know you don't need it, but your destiny needs it. <laughs> so you better pay attention. In the name of Jesus. Connection with men who can help you. Do you know sometimes all you need in life is just help? You don't need advice. You don't need suggestion. Sometimes all you need, uh, you don't need help like spiritual help. The direct need. If you need a watch, just sometimes, case closed, just that watch. Sometimes what you need is financial help. Hallelujah. When Ruth, listen, when Ruth and Naomi, when Naomi stood and was confused, did not know what to do. And Ruth said, I'm not going anywhere with you. Do you know a time came when she went to the field? And she saw them gleaning. And Boaz said, leave some. What did she do? Just leave some. There are, there are blessings you will enter into this year. That you too, you will know. 
that this one no is not me is purely the sovereignty of god and i stand in the name of jesus christ i prophesy it upon you as surely as the lord god of heaven lives may that come to you speedily may that come to you speedily everybody shout prepared blessings say it again prepared blessings it, it, it is true. It happens. Where somebody just steps in and solves your problem directly. I share with you a testimony. Those who just got admission in the school of ministry, congratulations. But you will notice that a supplementary list came out. It's not in our culture to release a supplementary list. Are we together now? Someone spoke for the students. A voice that I honor, that we honor. I supervised the supplementary list by myself. There were three people that I honor with every esteem in my life. And when three of them called me, I said, no, 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 I'm under authority too. Bring all the forms of the students who did not get the admission. You, you were just sitting in your house and you saw an alert. And they said, congratulations, but someone spoke for you. Why has it stopped? Why should it not continue in other areas of your life? That somebody will speak for you. You are just sitting, you see an alert with a phone number and you call and say, who are you? You say, we were discussing and someone mentioned your name. It has happened to me. It happens all the time. Pray in one minute and say, Lord, help us. Financial help us. Please ignore people who think you are wasting your time. Pray this prayer with faith. Lord, send help us. The house of God needs help us. My family needs the ministry of help us. All I need at this point in my life is a genuine helper. No string attached. No, thank you for investment. But what I need now is not an investment. I need a helper. Help her. My family is about packing up. I need a helper. Please don't joke. This is your destiny. This is a kingdom secret that can wipe your tears. I cry for a helper. The gift of men. He gave gifts unto men. He gave gifts unto men to the end that they be established. He gave gifts to men to the end that they be helped. In the time of recession, he is still giving gifts to men. In the time of lack and want. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Jesus, this is someone's breakthrough tonight. I believe. I believe, I believe. Who said the medical bills must be paid through salary? Who said the helper cannot arise and wipe it? Who said the roofing of the house must be done by your savings? Who can arise from them? Hallelujah. Please sit down. I tell you my spirit is stirred with what I'm telling you many of you will thank me you will see your lives change overnight don't mind people who think what I'm sharing with you is not making sense I show you what can change your life brothers and sisters is one of the biggest secrets of this work you see by the grace of God There are few things in this ministry, let me tell you, 
there are few things in this ministry few things in this ministry that are actively being paid for from the central house every week every time there is somebody rising to handle something when we used to use other venues there are people who just arise and say look i will pay for the venue i will pay for this how much does it cost to transport people all through after service i will pay for it don't think it's everybody who must say what will i get in return there are people whatever you want to give them god has given them already they don't need anything they just want to bless you what is man that thou art mindful of number four what is the implication of the presence of men in your life i call it impartation access to impartation and the prophetic access to impartation and the prophetic why do you need men in your life their presence can guarantee you access to impartation what is impartation transference of grace for possibilities transference of grace for possibilities Men move according to the kinds and the dimensions of graces at work in them. No matter how you cry for God to anoint you, if you ignore men, you will never. Do you know, look at me. Some of you, all you need in your life is just that prophetic push. Prophetic push. Bishop Oyedeko said every time they are busy celebrating winners and saying, wow, this is how the ministry has risen. They will just go to Papa Ia Deboe. And you just lay hands on him and say you have seen well but a new level and that's the end of it prophetic push is capital it can bless your life it can wipe your tears one prophetic word i've shared with you countless testimonies here to the glory of god maybe i'll just review one or two remember the story i told you about the two women i went to buy sugar cane and two mama old women old women I'm not sure they could even speak English and they were trying to remove they were trying to uh, um, what do they call it yes to remove the wrapper so that they remove the small money to pay for sugar cane and I said uh -uh, I may not have much but come on these are my mothers let me bless them and I just bought the sugar cane I don't think I spent up to 100 naira. I can't remember how much exactly and those women were so touched they were blessing me and blessing me and one of them said my son forever walk upon gold how can a woman who is trying to remove five naira she knew what she carried on her head listen don't wait for people's physical result to believe they have it you will be joking you may see a man with 10 members but he must have he can have a king maker anointing he can anoint you and you have a stadium full of membership if all you are looking for is someone else's result no some results are not meant to appear physically they are meant to be transferred and reflected in the life of another it's called a king maker anointing they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who anoint and throne and dethrone kings those of you who have kings in your village you know there are people who sit down with the kings they are called king makers they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who consecrate kings saul never became a king himself but he was the one who made kings and he was the one through God who rejected kings let me tell you there are people who carry graces they may not physically look like it they may not be millionaires but they never lack quarter to shame God will always arise that's a grace you need because all you need in life is not just money Bishop Oedeko calls it the grace of on time when things come too late they can kill you they should come on time. How he got that anointing, he said it was a particular man of God. I don't know if it was Archbishop Benson Idahosa or whoever it was who, he, you know, sent him on errand, sent to Edeko on errand then when he was just starting and to show up at a particular time. And the person showed up fast and, and Oedeko showed up fast. And then the man looked at him and said, ah, 
you mean you came at the time he said from today i impart upon you the grace of on time before a need arises the supply comes there is such a grace now you may see people move they are not millionaires but they they carry that possibility the moment shame is about to come something must happen to change that result it's a grace impartation by God's grace we have lavishly received impartations in this place impartations I have received impartations I'm like a bee I'm a product of strange graces Jesus himself being the chiefest of them all but there are human vessels there are men who have entered my life and just wipe my tears in certain areas impartation and then a prophetic push I told you prophecy is both revelatory and creative the more superior dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension revelatory dimension gives you faith and direction but when you get to the end of your road you need the creative dimension of prophecy where someone can look at your life and say look physically speaking there is no hope but in the name of jesus i introduce a reality an equation into your life i was teaching in in, in akure and i told them the anointing is the, is an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage prophecy this ministry you see there are constant prophecies being bombarded on our heads prophecy 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 where is the prophetic voice pushing you to the next level where is the prophetic voice that's why every time i minister here i pray and i speak over your life from the depth of my heart it's not just copy men of god i understand the power of the prophetic second chronicles 2020 it says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established then it says believe his prophets so shall he prosper in other words don't believe them and what happens to you it says and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet were they preserved the prophetic is real not just calling names and numbers but the ability to speak realities into being taking an advantage of this mystery the capacity to create things because everything that appears comes from the unseen realm so a man can program your destiny through prophecy like an alarm clock you can program an alarm clock to ring at a time you see that you program an alarm clock 327 and the clock will be quiet as if it's dead 327 on the dot that's how a man's destiny can be programmed a man can shift a breakthrough that should happen when you are 49 to happen when you are 25 prophecy prophecy can shift possibilities to and fro you must understand this by this time tomorrow elisha said he didn't say god told me by this time tomorrow when he met the shunammite woman he said what should i do to you should i talk to the king he said, no, no, I live among my own people. What should I? He said, well, we don't have a child. Hear what he said. He placed a time. That's one of the ministry of the prophetic is to place a time for your miracle. Because the clock must ring. He said, to appoint unto them that morning Zion. To appoint. So something that would have happened next year, they take it and make it happen next week. It's a superior dimension of the prophetic. A woman will be coming here, I'm sure, one of these days to share her testimony. She sent a testimony that touched me. Now, this is not the first time we're getting these testimonies, but they are very powerful. I don't have time to look for it in my phone, but I will tell you. She said, I think we were in a program. I don't know which of the meetings now, whether in Yola or whatever. Yes, they were part of those who uh, were in the welfare cooking, cooking for us. And I always pray for all those who cook, those who drive me and cook for me every time I go for any meeting. Now, I prayed for the woman, and according to her, she said, I told her that, what do you want? And she said she wanted twins. And she said it jokingly. And I said, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you twins. Nothing really happened. 
she got pregnant two weeks after that time that's the first news this is a woman that had been barren and but when they checked her there was only one child glory be to god that's all right at least i'm happy that i'm pregnant now and she said just like um i think maybe a month ago they went back to check and they were twins twins right there you see that she sent me a text actually because she started having some little pain like birth pains and they were saying most likely they will use cs so she shared that testimony and she was trying to encourage me to pray for her so she can give birth you know safely and then come and testify the creative dimension of prophecy that can place realities children just come through a man they come from god the moment mary said be it unto me she was pregnant it's just the body of the child and the genetics that come through the man children are a heritage from the lord he said when he led captivity captive he gave gifts to men the question i want to ask you tonight before we pray is have you received your own because the bible says that he gave those gifts to the end that we attain a level you have not attained that level meaning you have not received those gifts have you received the strategies the ideas the wisdom have you received the endorsements accreditations hmm. have you received financial and material resources i'm speaking to somebody from the depth of my heart there are testimonies i can begin to share with you now but if I say some of these testimonies that they are not, it's not even safe for some of us because it may just push you through seasons you are not ready for. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you the truth. Anybody that tells you that God cannot fast track the life of a man is he joking. Look at my life. Look at my life. I've heard of testimonies of people in this recession, people have arisen and done things you cannot imagine one of the gifts that god has given me in my life i draw me to the leaders and the workers all the time is the gift of men the gift of men is greater than money the gift of men is greater than money there are some things money cannot do are we together listen if you labor on to death i've given this example here you labor on to death and you get five naira and somebody walks up and gives me five naira. Are, are five naira is the same? No. Your sweat and your life was drained for that five naira. It's, it's called the mystery of hardship. When you work for everything, you know we encourage diligence here. But your lifetime is not enough for you to get every result by working. You need an advantage. And that advantage is shrouded in men. Not oil. Not real estate. Not banking. Men. Men, men, who have you ignored in your life? Whose voice must speak for you in this season? It's not that there are no jobs. There are people getting jobs every time. Just like someone is about to get one now. But who is speaking for you? Oh, there are no contracts. Please keep quiet. Don't say there are no contracts. With 7.2 billion people on earth, are you joking there are no contracts there is no contract for you but there's contract but a voice can make it for you come and do a miracle a miracle today you will do a miracle a miracle today listen when you get into trouble hear me who speaks for you there are some of us it's not all about money when you get into trouble who speaks for you there are some of us if things don't work out in our lives we are dead there's nobody to arise and speak for you the bible says valiant men came to david they entered a covenant that they must make him king who is ready to die to see that your cause you criticize a man of god and there's nobody to back him no sir there should be somebody no 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 no. don't say this against pastor femi 
I love him. Are we together? They just said they ate some money in your office. You are about to be thrown out. You are in trouble. And you are innocent. Just because you are working in the accounts department. They are about to jail you. In the prison. In the, in the police station. There is nobody to speak for you. Before the law court. Nobody to speak for you. They are about to throw you in. Nobody to speak for you. Hapa. That's a life with no favor. That every time trouble arises, somebody will come and say, look, ordinarily speaking, you are supposed to do A and B and C to Emeka, but I come in. Have you seen people who when they are fighting, they come and stand and say, don't beat this person. It's better to beat me. Who can cover you like that? Politicians call them God, Father, God, whatever. Brothers and sisters, we have ignored this to our detriment. One of the blessings God has given me in my life is not just divine immunity and protection. God has raised men, I can tell you this, men who will stand and they won't mind blood coming out of their bodies to make sure they protect my interests and what we represent. And I do not take them for granted, but I am grateful. I have been shocked. A man of God somewhere once said something that was not too nice about me. And I mean, that person, I, I didn't even know. It was when he apologized. More than 100 people called him, blasted nonsense out of his life. I said, God will punish you and punish you and join and punish you. You mix every, the baby and the bad water and think everybody. It was something that was trying to show maybe like all these men, those, you, you know, you know what I mean now. Maybe if somebody put his hand in something that is ungodly, time shall tell. You know those kind of sarcastic statements. And my goodness. And I'm not talking of young people. Married women. The person will say his testimony and blast the man and say, are you stupid? The man sent me a text. He thought I knew about it, honestly speaking. It was when I got it. I said, no, 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 no. No offense. I don't have what. Why, why? I mean, I don't keep any offense. What for? Can you have people like that? There are men who can arise to cover your shame. Just because they know you, they will arise and say, no, 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 no. I will cover your shame for you. We have some prayers to pray this night. If our parents had this, they would not be struggling like this. Because every other person who has risen has exactly what they have. Educationally, whatever it is. No help. No help. No help. You work hard, you go to school, almost as if you would die, you graduate, and your, your certificate becomes like a toilet tissue. Nobody to speak on it. The only thing there is the registrar's signature. And life will look at you and say, no, I need another signature. Come on, this is, this is, this is too regular. Show me another one. You are praying and fasting, but you need to start praying strategically. Don't just pray and say, Lord, send angels. Yes, angels are important, but you need a physical entity moved by those angels. There was a particular time they were going to this. Paul was afraid of entering a city, and God said, No, no, don't be afraid. I have many people there. Nobody will touch you. I have many people, many men there. I'm tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than me. Tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more. Gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more. Gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. Listen. One of these four things will become your prayer point. I'm going to give us 10 minutes and I will not interrupt you. 10 minutes alone with God. You know what aspect. The Bible says he gave gifts unto men. Ask God, Lord, where is my own? Where is my own gift? Where is the man you have sent with the financial blessing? Where is the man you have sent, oh God, with the prophecy for my next level? Where is the man you have sent with the idea? Where is the man to endorse my life, my ministry? Ten minutes. Please 
I don't know how you will pray, but the next 10 minutes, instrumentalists help us cry before the God of heaven and say, Lord, I want to receive my own gift. You are giving gifts to men. This is a real triumph. Triumph. To the ministry of men. Spiritual exploits. To the ministry of men. Unto men, he gave gifts unto men, he gave ideas through men, unto men, he gave strategies through men, unto men, he gave wisdom to men. Pray. He gave endorsement. He gave recommendations. He gave access to platforms through men, unto men, through men, unto men. Are you praying? Don't be distracted. Keep praying. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come. In this season of trial for God. Enough of delay. Enough of delay. Lord, I'm tired of struggling. One man away. One man away. That man must show up in my destiny. the Lord. Listen, listen. The Lord gave me a promise that when I teach this message, he will release radical breakthroughs to the lives of men. Believe this. You will hear of people's lives changing overnight. Overnight. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, can't you just believe for once? Doesn't your spirit bear witness that this is the key to what brought you here. Men, an advocate. Men. Listen, listen. He said they are taken for a prey, but none say yet restore. They capture you, but there is no man to shout restore. Prayer point number one. Oh God, whoever holds the strategy, the wisdom, the idea that I need to experience triumph. I open the gates of my spirit and I receive them as gifts. Go ahead and pray. The gift, the gift of wisdom, 
the gift of understanding, the gift of strategies, business strategies through men, ministry strategies through men. One man can change your company. One man can change your business. One man can link you up with what 10 years has not been able to give you. One man can open up the gates of ministry. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. I open the gates of my spirit. 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 I receive them as gifts. One man, one man, the difference between you and the next level. Prayer point number two, listen. Father, I have the talent. I am ready for the next level, but there is no ladder to climb. The voice that must endorse me for the next level, I call you by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. The voice endorsing my papers. The voice endorsing my products the voice endorsing my services the voice endorsing the hand of god on my life i call you in the name of jesus prophesy 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 it's time to rise somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Call them. Call them, Koinonia. Call them. Call them for your family. Call them for your life. The man to endorse your marriage. The man to endorse access to the man of God who carries the grace you need. The man to endorse your business. The man to endorse your employment. Hello, you man of mine. Thy kingdom come. Lord, I'm a master's holder. I'm ready for the job. I need an endorser. I'm a PhD holder. I'm a graduate. I need an endorser. Lord, I'm a businessman. I have paid my price. I have done my homework. I need a voice. A voice to speak at the gate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. If you are a parent here, yeah, everything you pay, you pray for yourself, pray for your children, whether they are in your womb or they are everywhere. I hear what I'm saying. If you are a lady here, as you pray, you lay your hands on your womb. You don't wait till you get married. Come on. John was filled with the Holy Ghost in his water's womb. You can speak favor to be waiting for that, 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 that child formed in favor prayer point number three you are going to cry now listen 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 i told you there is the sovereign dimension of god's will you are going to cry for help help 
don't cry for money lord a helper can come i call him to my life lift your voice and pray a helper a helper are you praying a helper a helper a helper it can be this difficult it can be this difficult it can be this difficult bring a helper to make my life easy oh god so that i can have the time to serve you so that i can have the concentration to focus on my assignment lord i'm tired of financial distractions lord i'm tired of material destruction send a helper to clear the way that i can serve you send a helper are you praying are you praying don't look around pray the helper must show up. The helper must show up. The helper must show up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Kai, I tell you, I'm, 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 I, I feel the joy in my spirit for the prayers we are praying. I know this prayer is doing something in the realm of the spirit. The last prayer point. I want you to pray this with all your heart. You are going to cry and say, Lord, the prophetic push. That one you can have it this night, right now. That one is available for you. Is up for you to receive. You are going to pray and say, Lord, the prophetic push, that push I need, that impartation, that prophetic push for my ministry, for my life, for my family. Lord, my family is in hellfire. We must come out this night. Lift your voice and pray. Pray outside, pray online, pray. Wherever you're connecting from any nation of the world, pray, pray. Pray your way. To a new level, pray your way to a new dimension. Pray your way. Shaka taka ta. Reko te ko to te ke te ke te. Reko sopo ko to bas. Ebra kata na kato se ke te. Reko se te ke te ke te ke te. Ne ke te ke te bos kapari ata. Shapa ko to ko to pe re ke te 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 ke te. Reko to sopo pe ke te ne ke ta. Pray. Hallelujah. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Lord, you took my pain away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord is giving you beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. 
and a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness beautiful ashes there is a woman that came here with a sick child there is a woman that came here with a sick child What's wrong with him? Help her with the mic. No mic. What's wrong with him? Huh? SS. SS. This is not the situation. I'll pray for him, but in fact, this. This is a baby. It's not even somebody as old as this. This is somebody within the age range of maybe a small child that is sick. I don't know if it's inside or outside. The Lord wants to heal that person. Go dear. Go dear. Go dear. Come, your breakthrough has come. Yeah, yeah. Where are you coming from? Samaru. You believe Jesus will touch you right now? You believe that? Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. And other things. You know what I'm talking about, right? Listen, you have to give God everything. Not talking of born again, everything total surrender. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's no one leg in, one leg out. It has to be completely all for Him. Hold my hands and let me pray for you. All good, yeah. I'll pray for you. Will you let her go now in the name of Jesus? I see you in the spirit. You will let her go now. I'm speaking to this other lady. Don't worry, she may not be looking at me. I'm not talking to her. Release her family right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cause darkness. I cause darkness over the family. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. From every power that is not of God. Madam. I'll, there will be a prayer session and I'll pray for the son. But let me just lay hands on him since he came out. Someone had a dream this morning. You saw me laying hands on you just this morning. Early this morning. I know people have these kinds of dreams, but someone specifically had that dream this morning. Father, heal this boy. Jesus Christ. Father, look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. Very much. You will do mighty things through your life. Just be patient. Huh? Now is not the time of manifestation. Now is the time of building. But it is true that he will do mighty things through your life. Hold my hands. Father, do to her what she saw in the dream. In the name of Jesus. do something to your spirit. It's an awakening that is happening to you. It's an awakening. I break the chains of limitation over you now. I cast those chains. I set them on fire in the name that is above all names. May those chains be broken. And I separate you from error. There is a spirit of error that can come with zeal when it is misdirected. I separate you from error. You will be circumspect and you will
will only be accurate. In the name of Jesus. Where is Isaac? He not shrink. Is he around? It's time for you to step into a new level. The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing like a surgery being done on you. There is something that so badly keeps you from rising to the next level. And the Lord says, it's time I prune it. It's a desire. It's an appetite that he's killing because it does not come from him. He wants to do mighty things. Hold my hands. Kill that appetite, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let that everything that does not name the name of Christ may it leave you. Come. This gentleman, you, it's time to respond to the dream you had. Come. These are wicked forces of darkness. Tying your life and your destiny down with delay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of God. That demonic dream and the experience that had that you had there, let it never return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever gives them legal access to your life is sealed and broken by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. The last person and then we just come, my dear, this lady. No, yes, come. You now, yes. Let no man despise you, for out of you will come a treasure. Let no one despise you. Let no one despise you out of you will come a treasure. The Lord says, I should tell you, there is this treasure that is hidden in earthen vessels, that the excellency and the power may be of God and not of men. Come, hold my hands. There is a fragrance that is coming upon your life from today that will make you uncommon. Uncommon. Distinguished. For you love the Lord with your whole heart. You love the Lord with your Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that makes men despise I curse it. I curse it. Hallelujah. Wow. Acts chapter 3. Turn to your neighbor and say, are you still here? charge us a bit. Welcome everybody, all those who came from far and near. Honor you. Glad to have you here. You will never be the same. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour and a certain man lame from birth was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called Beautiful to ask arms of them that entered into the temple. Who seen Peter and John, follow me closely, about to go into the temple, asked an arm. And Peter, fasten, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, look on us. And this is the key verse, verse 5. Let's read together. One to read. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something. Expecting to receive something. When he said, look on us, they paid attention because they were expecting that they were going to receive something. As I began to pray and say, Lord, what would I share with your people? The Lord said, the only thing I need from them is expectation. Expectation. Expectation is a proof of faith. Expectation is a proof that you trust God. Hallelujah. If you, if you tell me you are hungry and I dip my hands in my pocket, automatically you begin to have a sign of expectation because you anticipate that I'm bringing out something. Is that true? 
And so you begin to position yourself to receive and say thank you. The only thing God is asking from you tonight is that you be expectant. Expect that sickness to leave your body. Expect that family captivity to come to an end. Expect the Lord to visit you. Expect to step into new levels of the anointing. Expect that no matter what the challenge is, the power of God can step into your life. It does not take time. It only takes the spirit of God. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is not, there is no liberty. I want you to know that the spirit of God is in this place tonight. And the only message the Lord asks me to communicate to you is that your heart be expectant. Expectant. Lord, I expect to be healed. I expect that you will wipe my tears. I expect that this situation in my life will change at once. I expect it. I expect it. Do you believe? Do you expect that God will do something in your life? God is already visiting people. You do not imagine the degree of spiritual preparation that goes in to all of our meetings. Talk less of the miracle service. So I want you to know that there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. Hallelujah. Right away we'll begin to pray and I'll just be moving in the anointing and God will minister to us. Please and please let your heart be expectant. That's the only message the Lord asked me to give us tonight. Expectation. Expectation. Expect that that which you wrote in your prayer request will be answered. Expect that that which you came down. See, don't look at the situation. Just be expectant. Be expectant. The greatest enemy to expectation is your past, your history, your track record of failure, your track record of the seeming shortcomings of God. So every time you expect, you say, but I prayed before, but I fasted before. It says, forgetting the things that are behind. Forgetting what happened yesterday or what did not happen yesterday, I press. Everyone say, I press. I press. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. Just for two to five minutes. That's the only message the Lord asked me to bring to us tonight. Expectation. Let there be a, a depth of expectation in your heart. Lift your voice and cry to God. And say, Lord, I am expectant. Pray. Lord, as your power moves and as your spirit is touching men, I am expectant. I came with a hunger. I came for a touch. I came for an encounter. I came with an expectation. Hallelujah. 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 Before we pray, come, Pastor Femi. The Lord says, I should tell you, he's opening you up to a season of wisdom. 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 He's opening you up to strange wisdom. Wisdom. That's what you are receiving. Wisdom. Strong wisdom. He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. That's what you need for the next level of your life. Wisdom. Tremendous wisdom. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. Lord, I pray that you activate fountains of wisdom in him. 
strange order of wisdom in the name of the Lord Jesus wisdom in your decisions dimensions of wisdom that you have never seen before you will make decisions that will accelerate your life accelerate ministry hallelujah in one minute mention everything you came with as a challenge and say Lord the time has come for your grace and your power Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place, Shalom, Shalom, my father, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Shalom, shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom. Jehovah, shalom. hallelujah lift your hands lift your hands we're starting tonight with individuals that god is giving them breakthroughs every single one of those individuals will come under the anointing of the spirit at the count of three just those individuals one two three now now take it take it take it take it now that break anointing i release it right now right now right now right now all the ones separated for breakthroughs right now inside and outside i release that breakthrough anointing that breakthrough anointing right now that breakthrough anointing right now it comes like a mighty rushing wind the breakthrough anointing the breakthrough unction enough of that level enough of that dimension i speak it i declare it i prophesy it and i release it take it from your belly out of your belly let it gush like living waters out of your belly that breaker anointing in the name of jesus out of your belly that breaker anointing breakthrough 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 Struggle. I end the 
struggle. I end the struggle by the breakthrough anointing. I end the struggle right now. I end the struggle right now. All over the building. I end the struggle right now. Shaka ba 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 ba. Shaka ta ba 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 ba. Shaka te ka te. Embro ka se ke te. Ele ke te bo soto ba. Para ta ri ke te bo lo se ke te. Se ke te ke te re ke te bo. Embro ka ta na ka ti le bo sha. Se ke te le ko to shia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hands on your stomach. Just lay your hands on your stomach. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. He said for out of your belly something will happen to some people right now. Out of your belly just keep your hands there. Father in the name of Jesus, where are the ones you are separating? Spiritual breakthroughs right now. Right now. And right now from your belly from your belly from your belly from your belly in the name of Jesus out of your belly let it flow let it flow living waters living waters living waters new dimensions living waters skatata kapata reketetekete bekata taboskata from your innermost being from your innermost being from your innermost being from your innermost being a busting thought of new wine a busting thought of new wine a busting thought of new wine a busting thought Hallelujah. 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 Sabarada balada bakadia. There are people here right now. Listen. You came here because you are confused. There is no direction. You are trusting God for direction. You have prayed but there is nothing to do. You need direction desperately. Lift your hands. Lord, I pray wherever they are right now, by the light of the Spirit, my Father locates them. Receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. Marital direction. Academic direction. Receive direction. Receive direction. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. By the light of God. By the illumination of the spirit. Direction. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice. Saying this is the way you will hear that voice saying this is the strategy you will hear that voice Hallelujah Hallelujah Lift your hands The Lord wants to destroy marital delay this is what is happening right now. Marita, just keep your hands. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are people here who God wants to release them into their marital destiny. But there are horns and powers that has kept them down. You may think it's finances or you may think it's this and that. But the enemy has done this. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. Sheketekete, reketekete, sheketekete, ma brata kata, embrokata tikete, shoketekete. I release you right now. 
I release you. I release your family. I release your sisters. That power that has held your marital destiny. Hear the voice of the Lord. That power that has stopped marriage in your family. I speak in the name of Jesus. Be loose right now. 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 Hallelujah. Now, lift your hands. I'm seeing in the spirit a tree without fruit. And so I know the Lord wants me to destroy barrenness. 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 There is someone who came here with that situation. I don't know if it's a couple or somebody. You are expecting a miracle desperately. Let me have that one person come out. I'm going to pray for everybody right now, but we need to break that yoke right now. We need to break that yoke right now. There are families tied down. There are families tied down. When you identify that person, the person can come out. Lift your hands, let me pray. No, the Lord wants the family to come out first. Come out first. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Where's your wife? She left my house October 26th. We don't have the courage and she packed her things and she left. We were married for eight years, no child. You've been married for eight years no child. with no child. And so because of the frustration, she left. Do you know where she is? She's in Kaduna in her mother's house. Why did she leave? Look at how the devil steps in to destroy families. Eight years and is leaving because there is no child. But are you still in touch? Well, the church tried to call her. She didn't answer. So I left her alone. I was just praying that God should just intervene. So a friend of mine invited me from Kaduna to come to this program. Where is the friend? Friend, come. She I need to pray for you. May God bless you. Let's celebrate the friend. Hallelujah. These are the kind of useful and relevant friends that God should bring in your life. Friend, where are you? May God bless you. You are a good friend for inviting him to come and receive breakthrough. Do you believe your wife will come back? Yes, sir. You want her back? Yes. Sir. I'm going to pray for you. Your wife will return back. Amen. Forget about what has happened. God will give you two boys, two girls. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you, sir. You are a good man and you love God. Not only that, what do you do? I work in an electronics company, Samsung. So when we had this issue of this marriage, they have to let go of me. But I have my own personal business in Kaduna, which I, know. I God established. Is helping you. This marriage has destroyed too many things in your life. You've lost money. You've lost a lot of people. Even cars. Because I'm seeing somebody that really used to be blessed. But it's like things are going down. The Lord is going to restore you. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Therefore, what God has joined. The Bible says, let no man put asunder. You need to be delivered. Right? There is a spirit that is making these things happen. You are a good man. You will be delivered right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shabaka Proto. 
cross over to that. I release your destiny right now. In the name of Jesus. I call forth your wife into your life. And I open the fountains of fruitfulness. The Lord showed me two boys, two girls, and I release them to your life. This power that has tied you down and tied your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that it is released right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm holding your hands. And with these hands, may your business jack up beyond that which you have ever known. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will restore your fortune. And he will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Friend, come. Where are you from? Kaduna too? Zaria. Zaria here. Yeah. You came alone? Yes. No, I came with a friend. What would you want the Lord to do in your life? Marital breakthrough. Marital breakthrough. Yes. What does that mean? Marriage or health in your marriage? Marriage. Marriage. When? This year. You believe it? Yes. Or you're just saying it? You have already spoken the word and it's happening. Let me pray for you. Father, you anointed us to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint unto them. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that before this year runs out, your husband comes to you and may you be happily married. You will marry a godly man. May you marry a blessed man. One who will love you and fear the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you, sir. Now lift your hands and let me pray. I'm praying for barrenness. I don't care what represents barrenness in any area of your life. Lift your hands. Barrenness can mean of fruitfulness in any aspect. It says, Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but he was leprous. It was an area of barrenness. Barrenness is that aspect of your life that is not productive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Father, there are people who like a vine have refused to bear fruit in different areas. Others want to bear fruit, but the enemy has stopped it. I pray for you right now. Every power that is sitting on your fruitfulness. Where are those people who barrenness have held their lives? Where are those people? In the name of Jesus, let fire come upon you now. Let fire come upon you now. I destroy the hold of barrenness. Everywhere in this building, I break the chains of barrenness. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, can you lift your hands? Just this row. Just this row. Just keep your hands lifted. I see a wind blowing through this row. Barrenness be destroyed from the back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. There is no hiding. Back to the front. There are many people in this room. I break it right now. I break it right now. Right now to the back. From the back to the front. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone under any influence of unfruitfulness. Shake it. Right to the back in the name of Jesus. Be set free. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed. This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. When the spiritual limitation is taken away, then your life will move forward. What will happen tonight 
is not just for you but for every family you represent so there are people who will come under the influence of the anointing to be delivered not just for themselves but for their families and the families you represent lift your hands father in the name that is above all names i'm praying there are spirits sitting on families and the destinies of people appearing to people in dreams and visions and corrupting your purposes for their lives and lord it's time for them to go because this is mount zion now therefore i speak to every foul spirit every devil of darkness every yoke every territorial power that sits across territories i speak in the name of jesus by the authority of the lord jesus and i come under an apostolic anointing i bring every spirit under arrest and i command that you will live at the count of three now at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus and they must leave you one two three spirit husband every territorial power ancestral spirits that tie people and families come out now come out now come out now come out of god's people in the name of jesus bring them out in the name of jesus I cost those powers. I cost those powers. I cost those powers. I cost those powers. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I see spirits that come to people in night visions and dreams. Make intercourse with them and destroy their lives. Keep those hands lifted. Lord, where are those people? Let the sword of judgment find them now. Let the sword of judgment find them now. Let the sword of judgment lift your hands a spirit will prefer to oppress a sister than a brother because with one sister there are many people that can become victims not because of immorality or anything it's just the nature of the compelling character of women I pray right now anyone here whether you know it or not that is under the influence of any spirit that is not of God. I pray and stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, let fire come upon that spirit. Let fire come upon that spirit. Let fire come upon that spirit. hallelujah the holy ghost is speaking to me that there are people here that start things but never finish there are families that start things you've been building a house for 10 years and will never complete it lift your hands the finisher's anointing is going to come upon a few people right now. That grace to start and finish at the count of three. 
is coming upon you for your destiny coming upon you for your family receive it right now one two three the finish has anointed breaking the course of delay the finish has anointed breaking the yoke of delay projects that have refused to finish projects that have refused to finish Hallelujah. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Hallelujah. Now, for all those who came with sick people, you can march to the front now for prayer. Inside and outside. It's time to pray for the sick. Instrumentalists give us very anointed tunes. Worship team, help us. While that is happening, if you've not written your prayer request, do that quickly. And in case you think you need to add something to it, please don't stop playing. While you are seated here, the power of God is visiting you. So be in the spirit, inside and outside, no matter how far you are, connect in the spirit. You can call your loved ones to quickly send in their requests. There is a God that answers prayer. Please make way for those who are coming out. Jesus is a healer. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. to your infirmities and mean business with it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to believe that Jesus still heals and he will heal you right now. Hallelujah. We'll be very fast about it. Just give her a chair. Hallelujah. All of you standing here believe that Jesus will heal you right now. He will give us a sign. And the sign will be from one of you. Something will happen to one of you right now. And that will give us the sign of the stirring of the waters. power of God will come strongly upon one of you right now. When that happens, then it will allow us to pray for the sick. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let there be miracles. I see miracles everywhere. Be discerning, be spiritual. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, this right now. Miracles everywhere. I 
see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Your 
understand some things. Go back about that. Yes, sir. Not once, not twice. Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing a shrine. I'm seeing yes. concoction. Yes, sir. I'm even seeing them pour something and it appears yes, to be yes, drinking. Sir. Yes, sir. See, these are some of the things that you, when you know something is demonic, you don't add it with another. The devil will never heal you. It will backfire. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Thank God for Jesus. Yes. He loves God. Hold on, don't worry. Ogasa, talk to him. You'll be interpreted. Huh? Tell him in the name of Jesus. He will walk well now. And that witchcraft attack will leave. Ask him if he believes. And we nanuko tell it up with Geneva. Tell him to go. What's this? The medical report. Father, this is why you anointed us. Every power that is not of God, I set you free from it right now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, you will walk normally by yourself. I release upon you the power that comes in the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who have never seen a miracle, watch closely what happens now. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the healing anointing coming upon Stomach bloated. Jesus sets you free. I come in the name of the Lord. Tell him to hold my hands. Tell him to hold my hands. Release him. Release him. Walk. Come. Come. Tell him to come. From today, no witchcraft power will paralyze and keep him again. Appreciate God. Go back to your seat. God bless you. Oh, oh, oh.
You stretch your fingers. fingers. They can't. They are not working. For eight months. Your hand. Yes. For how long? Eight months. Why? It's just there after I started playing the guitar. You started playing the guitar. And playing guitar. Some, yes, sir. See strips things. He has been playing guitar for as long. His fingers are as fresh as that of a baby. This thing is not because of guitar. This is witchcraft. The devil does not want you to play unto the glory of God. You want to play for a club now? This hand will be healed. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. That's how he keeps robbing the church of potential people who worship God. Praise the Lord. You believe Jesus will heal you? Hold this. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you and the power of God will come upon you. You believe that? Then you move your whole hand. Say after me, Jesus. I believe. I believe. You're the son of the living God. You're the son of the living God. Right now. Right now. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Say it again. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Look at what is happening to his hands. You cannot move them. Go ahead and begin to move it. Go ahead. Begin to move it. Move it by yourself. Go ahead. 
Move it. Move it. Start moving your fingers. Look at this. He couldn't move his fingers. Look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Hold it like this. Go ahead. Keep moving. Come on, give Jesus praise. Couldn't use this at all. Couldn't even move. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that these hands become perfected. Can you see how the hands are? I mean, so stunned. You cannot even use it. Keep doing it. Keep shaking it. The power has gone and your hand recovers completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise.
All your saints, All your saints of God. God. Can we say it again? Call to him. He will run to Give him a chance. Come now, pray. Praise his name, Say, oh, see.
Jesus harder. Higher, higher, oh, oh. Lift Jesus higher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Stretch your hands here and begin to just pray in the spirit. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come, O God. We have come before the mighty one. I'd like you to pray. There is nothing that our God cannot do. There is nothing he cannot do. Bible says unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come father this request represent the cries of your people this request represent the desires of your people this request represent the challenges of your people this request represents the obstacles that are standing on our path to destiny these requests threaten the advancement of your kingdom in our lives we pray in the name that is above all names that every request here be turned into a testimony in the name of the lord jesus christ no matter how impossible the situation is oh god i pray that one by one, one by one, they will come and testify of your goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Already for some, I heard that Victor's wife that we prayed for has been rushed to the hospital. Labor has started for her. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a very prophetic moment. Please, everybody inside and outside, don't let anyone distract you now. Lift your hands as we speak. Hallelujah. I love this part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to be blessed. The power of prophecy and its ability to enter your life and change things. Please, I want you to believe. Please, I want you to believe. 
no matter how far you are inside and outside i want you to believe hallelujah everything that represents limitation in your life everything that has stood as a limitation against your life and your destiny i come in the name of the lord god the lord god almighty and i declare that in this month of may may that limitation be lifted up your life may that limitation be lifted up your life in the name of jesus christ I pray for you. Whatever has stopped the helpers of your destiny from locating where you are, whatever wrong advice, whatever wrong impression has been given to them about you and your family that has made them refuse to come to your aid. Makata katakata, seketeketepaka, emproto seketelekata, mankratos kataba latapa, rebeketeketeketepeledebos. I call them into your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. hallelujah I pray for you this is the season where wisdom will be required for you to move to the next level listen the Bible says through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established through knowledge are the rooms filled with every treasurable thing wisdom for many of us is the key to the next level and this is not human wisdom it's not wisdom by scientific calculation. Strategies that are revealed of the spirit. Strategies that can take you in one day to realms that years have not brought you. I pray the wisdom of the spirit may it come upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the keys to a life of stagnation is confusion, lack of direction. There's nothing as terrible as a man who is clueless about what to do. It can be frustrating when you are clueless. You are at the middle of an ocean and you don't know what to do but there is the spirit of counsel and mind the, the dimension of the operation of the spirit that comes and speaks peace to you in the name that is above all names I pray for you that every decision you need to make every direction that you need to take for this second half of your life to truly be the year of the rain I release upon you that dimension of the spirit of counsel and might marital direction financial direction academic direction career direction no more confusion no more confusion no more confusion hallelujah I pray for you part of the keys to stepping into the blessings of the Lord is the ability for your eyes to see opportunities Hagar listen Hagar was in a place it was a desert but there was water her eyes could not see it. but when the angel of the Lord appeared unto her suddenly she saw water 
I pray you have been passing what and bless you and you have not been seeing it in this month of May. Shekete katata. Man the anointing that opens the eyes of men to opportunities that can bless you. I release it upon you now. I release it upon you now. Where men see obstacles, may you see opportunities. Where men see stumbling blocks, may you see stepping stones. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, God has not given us the spirit of fear. Fear has kept many people from moving forward. Fear of everything. Fear of death. Fear of failure. Fear of taking action. Fear of moving. Even when God says move, you say I'm afraid. Start that business, I'm afraid. Take a step to marry, I'm afraid. Do this, I'm afraid. Move on. Father, I'm afraid. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, every manifestation of fear, every manifestation of fear that has kept your ego on the line, that will not allow you soil your hand in destiny to make progress, that keeps you from being afraid, every manifestation of fear that gives you a feeling of being embarrassed to take a step, I cause that fear now. I cause that fear now. I cause that fear now. When they got to the Red Sea, they were afraid. And when Moses went before the Lord, he said, tell the people to move forward. The signs don't go before you. They follow you. You will have to take a step as a sign that you trust God. Take the step and die taking it. Let it be that it was God that killed you. There is no man that took a step in the name of the Lord that did not return with a testimony. For some may trust in horses. Others may trust in chariots. But for us, we trust in the name of the Lord. And everything we do in the name of the Lord, he said, whatsoever you do in word and in deed, do it in the name of the Lord. I pray for you again. Fear has stopped millionaire businesses from starting up. Fear has stopped people from applying in places, high places. They think they are not qualified. Fear has stopped many of us. Fear has stopped you from starting the building project. Who said you are too young? So long as God gives you the signal. There are some of us. All of us are adults in our house, but our parents cannot boast of even a simple bungalow because of fear. You have 10,000. Go and buy a trip of sand and pour it on the ground and leave it there. Tell the devil I'm coming. Look, let me tell you, you will never break through in life till you take the attitude of if I perish, I perish. I pray the boldness, the audacity, the strength, the audacity to ride through without exhaustion, to ride through without fear, I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. I pray for your academics. Shekete palabata. The ten times better anointing. Ma teke 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 ta. Seke telepa. The distinguishing anointing. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. Listen. Anyone here or any family here that the devil is eyeing for death. That is saying you will not see the next month. Or the end of this year I declare by the mystery of the blood the last card the hallmark of God's victory I judge the manifestation of death over your life I judge the manifestation of death over your family you will travel out and come back safe no armed robber will get you on the road no terrorist will attack you on the road 
When others say there is a casting down, it will never be your testimony. For you, it will be that there is a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, I pray over your finances. The grace to pay the price now and to pay the price early for a glorious financial future, I release it. Every spirit of laziness, every spirit of carelessness, every spirit of lukewarmness, every inertia, every reluctance to begin to take appropriate financial decisions, especially for the brothers, I cause it to his root now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those trusting God for a miracle job. I tell you the truth, when the hand of the Lord upon you is upon you, there will be a door that is open. Some of you are standing in for yourself and some for your loved ones. I pray in the name that is above all names, may God give them supernatural jobs. Jobs that they will be proud of. In the name of Jesus. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. It's one thing to be rich. It's one thing to be blessed, but it's another thing to be honored. Honor is not something that money can buy. I pray for you. That mantle of honor that makes you distinguished and rewarded everywhere you go, I release it upon you right now. Your superiors will honor you. Your contemporaries will honor you. Your subordinates will honor you. Even your enemies will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for everything that has died or is dying here. I don't care what it is. Projects that have died. Ideas that have died. Dreams that have died. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. Come back to life. Come back to life. Visions that have died. Assignments that have died passions that have died strengths that have died I call it back to life in the name of Jesus every voice you have heard that has killed your dreams every voice you have heard that has killed your potentials the voice of your past the voice of your failure the voice of mediocre the voice of limitation I silence those voices from your life I silence those voices from your life. I pray for every ministry represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every business represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every job represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every family represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every destiny represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. The Bible says, Thou anointest my head with oil and it makes my cup to run over. There is an anointing that comes upon your head that translates into increase in your life. Thou anointed my head with oil and that oil makes my cup, my source of supply to run over. I pray for you. The anointing that will give you wisdom. The anointing that will give you creativity. The anointing that will give you ideas, insight, concepts, strategies for wealth. I release it upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you in a name that is above all names. Every habit, every issue, every challenge, every weight on your life that is eating up your Christian integrity, that is eating up your work with God. You love God, but there are weights in your life that keep drawing you back to the way of sin. I pray for you. The hand of the Lord lifts you out of that nonsense. The grace of God picks you out of that limitation. Grace to say no to every appearance of evil. Grace to say no to everything that is ungodly. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray a special prayer for our brothers. I curse in your life the spirit of irresponsibility. 
one more time i curse from your life and your vicinity every spirit that refuses you from rising as a man that you are that entitlement mentality that makes you think someone else is responsible for your success i curse that mindset in the name of jesus from today i release upon you grace grace to rise and take up the challenge of manhood in the name of jesus christ i pray for you you will not need to defend yourself the lord god almighty will be your defense the lord will anoint you in such a way that even your enemies will walk towards your progress in the name of jesus i prophesy restoration for everything you have lost restoration 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 in the name of the lord jesus and i pray for you a new dimension in the spirit a new level of prayer grace a new level of word grace a new dimension of encounters with the spirit of god where you are becoming lukewarm where you are losing the initial standard of your christian experience where you are already bending bending against the things that would make you powerful i pray for a restoration for you where you have lost the voice of the spirit i command that you be to hear his voice again where you have lost zeal for the house of god i command a restoration for you in the name of the lord jesus christ and i pray for you all through the remaining part of may into june let it be a month of testimonies for you beginning from tonight in the name of jesus christ all those who have been looking for you to bless you may this be the season they find you all those who have received instructions from god to hold your hands and lift you up with no strings attached but have not been able to find you i pray listen listen samuel had already been ordained i mean saul ordained to be a king but he needed to find samuel and they kept searching and he could not find samuel until by the wisdom of god they were able to find him you can be one anointing away from the next level of your life you can be one prophetic impartation away you can be one destiny helper away i pray again for you whoever has been looking for you like the lost ass of samson of, of saul whoever has been looking for you to bless you and has not found you may this be the season they find you in the name of jesus christ and finally i pray for you nothing will rob your joy this month this will be the month of june will be for you a month of joy and laughter in the name of jesus christ before miracle service next month most of all your prayer requests would have been turned into testimonies in the name of jesus thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting hallelujah now keep standing everybody you're here and you need to return back to jesus christ keep standing everyone you've heard the word of the lord and you know that you need to make it right with jesus maybe this is the first time you are running to jesus genuinely to commit your life to him or you've once given your life to jesus and you've seen that you are derailing and you need to make it right tonight we will not end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to make jesus lord of your life or rededicate your life wherever you are make your way to the front right now we have one minute for this god bless you god bless you as you come god bless you as you come don't wait for anybody to be the first to come make your way god bless you god bless you they are coming inside and outside celebrate them koinonia god bless you as you come
Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed. He will give you a new beginning. And he will supply grace that you will go higher and higher. Higher and higher. Keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Run to Jesus. Keep coming. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Don't sit back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming to make a decision for Jesus. Just raise your right hand and repeat after me consciously and from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. This is, this is a confession that brings salvation unto you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I declare from today that you are my Savior and you are my Lord. I receive of your life. I receive of your spirit. And I declare that from today, my sins are washed away. I am a brand new person. The hand of God is upon me. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is not of God, I take authority over it. I receive grace from God to live a victorious Christian life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. I want to congratulate you for making this decision. It's the best decision you can make. This decides your eternal destiny. Hallelujah. Now, I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details. They will welcome you more warmly. And then, we'll communicate to you through them. God bless you. This way. Draw that baby. Baby, this way. No, 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 no. All those who are worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time being here worshipping with us at Koinonia, please make your way to the front. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. Celebrate them as they come. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Come on, Koinonia. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline